location. We're going to be shooting a waterfall that you see behind me. About two hours and a, well, two hours northwest of Ottawa in a little town called Wilno, I believe. Um, now the light's dying fast, so I'm going to try to waste as little time as possible. I may have gotten here a little late, which is my tip number one. Always arrive on location well ahead of time, so you have time to find your location and uh, you don't have to rush. Now, the first thing I want to do is take out my camera. I'm going to leave the tripod aside for now. I'm going to focus on finding a nice composition. Um, if you take your tripod out right away, I find that she you locked yourself into a composition too soon. So take the time to explore, try different angles, low, high, get closer, get back a little bit. Uh, try it all before you actually take out your tripod and lock in your composition. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and try to find my composition uh, so we can make the most of whatever light is left. Alright, so I found a composition I really like here. Uh, I ended up using my 14 to 24. Originally I wanted my 24 to 70, so I could use my polarizing filter to remove the reflection on the water, as well as the glare on the rocks, and bring out the greens, the moss that you see on the rocks all around. It would have a lot more pop to it if I was using a polarizing filter. So I ended up opting for the 14 to 24, as I mentioned. Won't be using any filter for that matter, because there's no filter kit that I have that fits on the end of this lens. So we'll just have to deal with the fact that there's going to be a bit of a reflection in the water. So I'm going to bring you in here so you can see the composition. I'm going to walk you through it. All right, so in this composition here, as you can see, we have the waterfall in the back here. I cut out the sky completely because it's just blown out. There's nothing interesting here. So cut out the sky, but we do have the top of the waterfall. And then down here in the foreground, we have the water flowing all the way towards the camera. And we have some rocks. So by bringing the waterfall all the way to the top near the edge here, it's stretching the waterfall, making it bigger than if it was in the center of the frame. So it's going to make it a bit more prominent in my composition. I will have to focus stack this because of the uh, distance difference between the foreground and the background compared to the lens. So I'll most likely take a shot focusing on these rocks here in the foreground, then another shot focusing on these rocks over here on the left that are about mid-ground, then a third shot with the focus on the waterfall at the back. I'm going to be shooting this at f16 with an ISO of 64. It should give us a, an exposure of six seconds. We're going to see. I usually like to go for shorter exposures when we're dealing with this much flow in the waterfall, uh, but we're going to see what it looks like. If I need to, I'll bring up the ISO so we can freeze a bit more of that motion in the waterfall. So I did drive two hours to get here, so I might as well make the most of it and take as many shots as I can before I have to go back home. So what I did is I brought the camera a little bit closer to the waterfall here, maybe uh, six feet. And now I'm oriented on the landscape orientation instead of portrait. Let me bring you in closer so you can see the uh, composition. All right, so as you can see here, we're using these two big rocks as foreground elements. And the water flowing around these rocks are going to create some leading lines towards our background where the waterfall is. So the same principle as earlier, I'm going to be taking three different exposures at three different focus points. So I'm going to be taking one shot. Actually, I might be taking four focus points uh, in this case, just to be sure. Probably won't need them, but I might as well have them and not need them, then not have them and then need them later. But I'll only know once I'm in post-production. So I'm going to take one shot where I'm focused here on these rocks in the foreground. Then another shot where I'm focused over here on these rocks a bit further, which is not quite mid-ground yet, it's a little further. And then I'm going to take a third shot focusing on the mid-ground back here, and then a fourth shot with the focus on the waterfall in the background. So let's do that right now. So 
I'm now home putting this video together and I just realized something, actually two things. First is I didn't even record an outro for this video. And second is that picture I just showed you, I'm not quite happy with that composition. It kind of feels off balance to me. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back at that location and uh, we're gonna try this picture again. But first, let me just uh, wipe that dust off that lens and we'll see you there. And we're back at the falls. Now looking back at those two images, I really wasn't happy with them. Uh, so I decided to make the two hour drive back here and try another shot at it. Now there are two things I don't like about these shots. Actually the first one is an okay image, uh, but the second one is total crap. There's just way too much foreground in that bottom portion of the image. So if you do crop that bottom portion though, uh, you'll get a panoramic image, a more like four by two or six by two ratio. And it makes the waterfall a lot more prominent in the frame, much bigger. So it gives it more attention as it is the main subject. And uh, it uses a lot more of the rocks, the, the wall of rock here that we have on the left and include all that texture from the moss and how the light is hitting it. Now the second thing I didn't like was the fact that there were a bunch of trees stuck in that waterfall back there. So today I came a lot earlier than last time, so I had enough time to remove all those tree logs from there. And now we have a clean waterfall to work with. So for this particular shot here, we're gonna be going wider than we uh, want our final image to be. Uh, so I'm, as you can see here, I'm including a little bit more of the sky than I want my final image. And um, probably a little bit more of the foreground that I want to include as well. So again, this scene has a lot of elements that are close and far from the uh, camera. So what we're gonna need to do is focus stack this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm going wider than I want my final image to start just because, again, I wanna keep some wiggle room uh, afterwards and then cropping this image. So we're gonna take three shots here, one focused on the uh, rock here, one focused there and one focus further in the back. I'm gonna move over and overlay this by one third. I'm gonna take a shot of this, of the focus on this rock here, then back here and then back at the waterfall. And as you can see here, the waterfall is way overexposed. So what I'm gonna to have to do in, uh, when I get to the shots that do include the waterfall in the background, I will bring down the exposure by about two to three stops darker so I can save the highlights in the waterfall and we're going to merge these in uh, post-processing later. I'm going to move to the left and keep going all the way up to here until I've taken shots that are focused on the foreground, mid-ground and background as well as the darker exposures for the waterfall. All right so the goal is that once we get to Lightroom we're going to do some light editing, stitch three different panoramic images together and then we're going to export those to Photoshop so we can blend them all into one final image that is stacked sharp from the very front to the back, just the way we like it. So this just goes to show there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than our best images we post on social media. Uh, there's obviously a lot more that goes into getting that shot. Sometimes it's five visits, 10 visits to the same location. Uh, here specifically, this is my third time. And that's not to mention the hour and a half I spent uh, removing all the tree logs from the waterfall. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. It's a great way to support the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time, guys, stay safe. Peace.